I wanted to explore. Uh, my name is Nora. My birthday is July 10th of 87, and I joined the Marine Corps. Since I was a small arms repair technician, also known as an armorer, that's what they call us, our field is even smaller. So I was like one female in an armory with a bunch of dudes. And you kind of just adapt to it. So I pretended like they were my older brother and I just picked on them. My, uh, uh, my top guy, uh, Master Gunnery Sergeant, he asked me, he's like, so do you want to distill the pool? And I was like, yes, please. And so I ended up on the roster for a female engagement team. I have 39 other sisters I can't get rid of. I remember they had one of those, if you're not tough enough speeches, then get out. <laughs> I remember that speech. So they didn't really define what FET was. We kind of figured it out on our own because it was this is the first time that a FET company was ever created in the States to train to deploy just as FET. I remember our first patrol was in the middle of the day in like April or something like that. It was like 120 degrees and we walked through wheat fields, which actually makes it hotter when you walk through wheat fields and we went for quite a bit of a distance, the two of us. And that was just my team. I'm not even talking about the 16 other teams and what they had to endure. So, yeah, they, they tested us more than once. I, I know it has evolved for quite some time, and you can see the evolution when that exclusion law when, when it was created and then when it was taken away. So now they're trying to figure out how to fully adapt to our abilities, I guess you could say. I think FET was created at a perfect time and I guess in the evolution of war.